What's up, YouTube? I'm back from vacation after a much needed break from the media, and now I'm ready to return to the honkening. Real quick though, a shout out to all my sponsors, Subscribestar and Patreon supporters, especially my latest Patreon subscriber, Patrick Roberts. I deeply appreciate the support, thank you. And now onto the slaughter I just witnessed on ABC News, hosted by the well-known Democrat Party operative, George Stephanopoulos. During the all but one panel of Democrats, Republican Chris Christie dropped some much needed truth bombs to the triggered dismay of his fellow panelists. Look, the idea that somehow when making the Hunter Biden decision in the midst of an election campaign, we were saying, oh, we got to be careful about Russian disinformation. But all through 2016, 2017, we now know that it was the Hillary Clinton campaign that was creating that dossier, paying for it. And that became the basis of a New York Times Pulitzer Prize. And it turns well, out there's a separate FBI investigation based on completely but, different evidence. But, but, but George, no, 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 George. No, 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 George. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. God, this guy is just such a blatant hack, it's unreal. The only time that you'll see him push back like this is on the rare occasion that he's got a Republican guest who can effectively call out their bullshit. He erroneously claims that the investigation was started based on completely different evidence. Oh, really? So what was that evidence? Because, you know, there was an investigation that ended up concluding that there was no evidence of collusion. The fact is, Comey purposely disseminated the Steele dossier, which we now know was Russian disinformation, into the media who ran with it in an attempt to undo the 2016 election results by pushing an insane conspiracy theory that Donald Trump was a Russian agent. It wasn't just the steel dossier either but dozens of bombshells that turned out to be complete fake news and breaking news we have another bombshell mike pence might have to assume the office of the presidency the call for impeachment rumblings of the word impeachment breaking news another bombshell out of the white house i believe this is the beginning of the end i do too it's really the beginning of the end the beginning of the end he may be feeling the walls closing in on him all the walls closing in on him the walls closing in on him breaking news a new bombshell one astrologer says this means the beginning of the end for President Donald Trump. The beginning of the end of the Trump presidency. Trump will resign. Trump is going to resign. Is this the tipping point? I know we've said it over and over. You think this is a tipping point? And over and over. This is a tipping point. And over and over. Breaking news, President Trump off the rails. It was the beginning of the end today. The beginning of the end. It reminds me a lot of the last days of Nixon. Breaking news tonight, new bombshell. This is the beginning of the end. The beginning of the end. The walls are closing in. The walls closing in. The walls closing in. Breaking overnight bombshell. This is a very dramatic day and I think it might be near a tipping point. Do you think this is a tipping point? This is unbelievable. This is remarkable. Have you ever seen anything like this. His presidency is crippled. December 1st, 2017, you can mark it down. This is the day that everything changed. We begin with the bombshell. The beginning of the end. 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 In fact, if this were a football game, we're in the third quarter. May even be the beginning of the end. We begin tonight with the bombshell. Donald Trump is in a lot of trouble. Trump is in trouble. The president will resign. Another hour, another bombshell. This is a tipping point. Trump's going down. This president could be impeached. I do not think the president will serve out his term. Resignation. Resignation. I don't think this president is going to serve out his term. Mr. Trump will not serve out his term. He will not serve out his term. No way, no how. Breaking news. An absolute bombshell. I think Donald Trump is in trouble. Donald Trump is not. He's done. And it's over. It's over. The wall's closing in. Well, the wall's closing in. This is going to be the Achilles heel. Breaking news tonight. I expect Trump to depart. This week will be the watershed week. Trump is in big trouble. Trump's in a lot of trouble. It's a sign of a terrified old man who feels the walls closing in. The walls are increasingly closing in on him. Tonight, the walls are closing in. Today changed everything. This is the beginning of the end. Today, the biggest tipping point for the Trump administration. What a historic day. The bombshells, uh, they fell. It's entropy and it's crumbling internally. He's underwater. He feels the walls closing in. Could his testimony be a turning point? We may be at a tipping point. It's the beginning of the end. The beginning of the end. Another bombshell. 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 This is a bombshell. It is a bombshell. I am beginning to resent the word bombshell. Not to mention the FBI lying to FISA courts in order to spy on the Trump campaign, corrupt FBI agents who coordinated and directed the lying, and steel dossier analysts who turned out to be lying to the FBI and were later arrested. Note that this arrest only happened after they had gotten all of their use out of the big lie. Uh, Operation Crossfire Hurricane was all about the potential infiltration of the Trump campaign 
by the Russians. The basis of that was the dossier. And instead of... And most of these organizations, Chris, didn't, didn't no. publish the dossier. Why you always lying? Why you always lying? Stop fucking lying. Why the fuck you lying? Oh, here we go. The old CRT isn't in schools deception tactic. When the truth is, CRT-derived curriculum is, in fact, in schools. In this case, she tries to discredit Chris Christie because the media didn't publish the dossier. When the truth is, Steele dossier-derived disinformation was aggressively pushed by the Democrat state media. But what they did was aggressively pursue that and to call it as if it was fact. And with the Hunter Biden case, Twitter took the New York Post uh, Twitter account down because they reported on the Hunter Biden laptop, which now turns out to be completely true. So let's just call Chris, it like, let's call it what it was. The, the New York Post the had campaign. it right. But the, George, the New York Post had it right, and the Washington Post and the New York Times had it wrong. Now, but, you can decide, everyone will decide what the motivation for that was, whether it was simple error, whether it was not sufficient reporting, whether it was bias, everyone's gonna have their opinions on that. But the facts that we know now are, the New York Post had it right during the campaign last year, and the other media outlets had it wrong. It, it, the Washington Post supposed to report on a hard drive that it did not have at the time that was given to Rudy and Giuliani? They were, listen, I they mean, were, it's, they were, it's they were, not an easy call if you're an editor. Wrong, wrong, wrong! You know who did have the laptop and the hard drive when this was all originally unfolding? The Director of National Intelligence, John Radcliffe. It's funny that uh, some of the people that complain the most about uh, intelligence being politicized are the ones politicizing intelligence and unfortunately in this case uh, it is Adam Schiff the chairman of the House Intelligence uh, Committee who uh, as you pointed out on Friday said that the intelligence community believes that Hunter Biden's laptop and the emails on it are, are part of some Russian disinformation campaign let me be clear the intelligence community doesn't believe that uh, because there's no intelligence that supports that. And we have shared no intelligence with Chairman Schiff or any other member of Congress that Hunter Biden's laptop is part of some Russian disinformation campaign. It's simply not true. This interview clip is from October 19th, 2020. Again, just before the election. There you have it official confirmation that the laptop was real. Meanwhile, you have all these other so-called intelligence experts claiming the opposite. And when it turns out that they were lying, they pay no price. Almost nobody has paid a price for the unprecedented Putin-style censorship that we all witnessed. Obviously done to sway the election for Biden. I mean, they even admitted this in a Time Magazine article. Notice that I said almost nobody has paid a price because Hillary Clinton has actually been very quietly fined $8,000 and $100,000 and five thousand dollars respectively for mislabeling payments that ultimately went to fusion gps which was the consulting firm that commissioned the dossier which is really just an insult to all of us it's a slap on the wrist for spreading russian disinformation and an attempt to undo the election results and of course the media is burying that story again because it flies in the face of their lies worst of all the democrat party propagandist chuck todd whose wife is paid millions by the dnc interviewed hillary right after being fined by the fec and failed to ask a single question about it what do you all think about this never-ending media gaslighting let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button and share it so that more people can understand just how corrupt our media is also make sure to keep checking back on this channel for shorts memes and other new content Okay.